Hello guys, this is Lesbian Mania. Welcome back to another episode of my channel. Today we are going to be looking at the most effective fuel efficiency technologies ever made. Manufacturers have been forced to employ a number of new technologies in the recent past to make their car engines greener and to reduce carbon emissions to the atmosphere. This comes with an added bonus to the drivers, saving them money at the gas pump. Each manufacturer has their own way of branding their fuel saving technology in their cars, but they mostly revolve amongst the technologies I'm about to mention. First, we have the start stop technology. This technology stops the car engine from running when the car is stationary and starts the car again when the driver presses the accelerator. The main idea behind it is to cut the emissions when drivers are idling in traffic. The starter motors in vehicles with this feature use stronger internal components to prevent wearing out faster. Many drivers prefer to turn off this feature since there is a delay between pressing the accelerator to start the engine and the engine actually kicking in. However, this has been improved in newer generation cars. The second technology is the use of turbochargers. Turbochargers are a common thing in most engines today as compared to the past. This is because they allow the manufacturers to shrink the size of the engines without compromising on power by forcing high pressure air into the combustion chambers. This high pressure air contains a higher concentration of oxygen molecules, thus increasing the power of combustion reaction. This in turn means that a small engine chamber can be used to produce some significant amount of power. In the past, turbochargers were commonly used in performance cars. But today, even the most budget-oriented passenger cars are using turbochargers. Next, we have the variable valve timing technology. This technology changes how the intake and exhaust valves open and close during an engine stroke cycle. The system varies the air-fuel ratio in the engine depending on engine load. This gives an engine a variety of profiles that can be switched depending on driving speed and situation. Every manufacturer has their own different systems, but the basic principle of operation remain the same. Next, we have the continuously variable transmission systems. They are also known as CVTs. A CVT comprises of two cone-shaped pulleys that move closer or further away as the car changes speed. Their main disadvantage is that they don't tend to last as much as regular automatic transmissions and can be expensive to replace. Next, we have gasoline direct injection technology. This technology injects gasoline straight into the cylinder through a dedicated injector that's fitted either into the wall or on top of the combustion chamber. This improves the combustion inside the chambers since fuel is in direct contact with spark plugs thus saving on fuel. The major disadvantage is in case of damage, the repair is quite expensive. 